Hi, I'm Emma Pinniger, and this is the final video for the Gesture Device Companion app. We are Hyper Gesture Transfer Protocol. I'm Emma Pinniger. And I'm Jakob Nogant. I'm Misha Griego. I'm Harrison Quick. Have you ever dropped your phone in a moment of carelessness? There isn't always a time to get to your phone when in danger. Have you wanted to skip that tiresome song while biking? Can't get to your phone and your hands are full? Fear not, with the Gesture device and its companion app, you'll be able to get by with no problems. You'll be able to answer calls, skip songs, control your Spotify stream, all while engaging in the activities you love. Here to tell you more about the Gesture device companion app is our teammate, Misha. Okay, so for today's demo, I have my Arduino advice, which is blinking to signify that it needs to be paired with a mobile app. And the app is on the screen, so let's open it up. Upon opening, we are going to see that it's going to log me in and that it has a button to lead us to the frequently asked questions on our website, as well as a logout option. Going to the profile page, we can see a profile page and going to the settings, we can see our current settings. So we have up, which is our emergency text and read recent text out loud. So let's go take a look at the emergency texts. Over here, we can see that we are going to send our GPS coordinates as well as we have a message and a recipient. So we are all good to go. Going back to the gestures, the next one is read a recent text out loud. And then we're going to want to try turn on and off, do not disturb, as well as pausing with Spotify. When we do a Spotify action, we are going to need to give permission to our app to use Spotify. So let's agree. Upon agreeing, we can see success. So let's close that. We can see a new message has appeared at the bottom, reminding us that we are going to need to open the Spotify app and perform an action so that the app can focus on the app and actually perform the actions. So let's go to manage device and actually pair with our device so we can do these different actions. So we have found our HGTP device, so let's pair. And our light is solid and the device has also shown that we are connected. We can also unpair if we desire, but let's go back and actually send our first gesture, which is going to be up. And then let's go take a look does take a moment, but we are seeing that it did send the actual text at the very top. And now let's read our most recent text. Message from 78015. U of U COVID-19 asymptomatic testing signups for April 26 to 30 now open. HTTPS colon slash slash colonavirus.utah.edu slash testing. Okay, so I did get a text from the U. Interesting. So let's turn on and off Do Not Disturb. To see this more easily, I'm going to bring down the drop down. So let's go left. We're going to see it has turned on. And then left again. And we are going to see U of U COVID that it has Asian turned off. Testing signups for April and I accidentally did a down gesture at the same time. <laughs> so 
let's go to Spotify and open it up. And let's choose an appropriate song. Sense of Symmetry seems nice. And let's play. And now I have paused with the gestures. And we can see that the Spotify app action has also worked. And that nearly concludes our demo. So let's unpair before we go and as well as logging out. Thank you for watching the demo. And for the technology that we've been using to create this product, that has been uh, centered around a mobile app. Um, this has been created in Xamarin and we are connected to the device uh, over Bluetooth low energy. And so moving from the left here, we have the Xamarin. Uh, we are using Okta to manage users to do authentication and authorization. And we have a Node API, a Node Express API, which is, is being accessed both from our website created in Vue.js and from the mobile app uh, created in Xamarin. To back up the data, we're using a MariaDB database. The API, the website, and the database are all deployed on, on Azure. For this project, we committed 550 updates, completing 127 issues over the course of the 16 weeks. The API that both the mobile app and the website are communicating with has 12 endpoints, and we wrote 44 tests that are integrated into CI pipelines. We also had five people outside the project review and provide feedback on the product so that we had guidance on which things to prioritize over others. Uh, yeah, we are Hyper Gesture Transfer Protocol, and this has been our project for University of Utah Capstone.